Anthony. Um, working on some of the Mitchell twins, just wondering, uh, I guess, what it's been like getting to know those guys. Kind of, what do you think they 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 bring to the table, and is it is it different playing with twins than than other guys? Uh, I mean, they bring a lot to the table. Um, I think the the most obvious thing they bring is just like a toughness and physicality, and uh, just presence inside for us. But getting to know them has been fun. Uh, you know, they're passionate and they work hard. So uh, they're good guys for our team. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's cool getting to know them. You know, that European trip probably seems like a million years ago, but they weren't getting a lot of playing time. And obviously they're really key cogs for y'all. How do you think they, I guess, evolved or gotten themselves going from back in August to now? Uh, they they just bought in, really, to what the coaches wanted them to do. And I think that's why they saw an increase in their minutes and uh, their production, too. I just buying into what the coaches are saying and uh, it's paying off well for them and, and they're playing well. And you guys have obviously been close to getting a road win. hadn't happened yet. Carolina's 0 for 5 in SEC home games. So they're struggling with at home. You guys are struggling with on the road. How, how do you see that going Saturday? Do you feel like this is a, a good chance to get a road win? Um, I mean, any game in the SEC is tough, uh, especially if it's a road game. So, uh, you know, we just got to be focused on ourselves and, uh, just play as good as we can play, try to come out with a win. Uh, we can't get too caught up in who we're playing against. We just got to uh, we just gotta focus and, and do whatever it takes to win a road game, which we haven't done yet. Okay, I might have a couple more. I'll turn it back to Mike if there's time. Thanks. Curtis? Hey, A.B., if I remember correctly, you were teammates with G.G. Jackson with, with USA Basketball. Uh, just curious, you know, do you guys stay in touch much? And then what do you remember about playing with him? What stood out about his game? Uh, yeah, me and Gigi, we we talk every now and then. Uh, and just thing about him is he's super tall and long and has a, a guard-like skill set. And uh, he's pretty young, so he's just a special talent. And uh, he's a good kid, too, so he's he's cool cool to be around. And I know you've been been dealing with that knee bruise since the, the Baylor game. How do you feel like that impacted you on Tuesday? I didn't know if that was a, a deal that it kind of loosens up for you as you get going. And then how are you feeling now a couple of days after? Yeah, well, uh, I've been ever since the Baylor game, I've just been trying to work to get it back to 100 percent. But uh, I mean, it, it impacted me a little bit in the game, but I was just trying to be tough and fight through it. So uh, we're going to keep uh, working on it and try to see. Uh, where to go from there. But yeah, we're just, we're working on it right now, trying to get it back to 100%. Touch? Yeah, AB, I think Coach Musk was saying he wasn't even sure if you were going to be able to play in the last game. Was there ever a moment of doubt for you, or did you always know all along that you were going to be able to play in that game? I really don't like missing games. So my knee was hurting pretty bad, but at the same time, I was thinking like, yeah, this is a big game for us, so I'm going to try to do what I can do to help us. Uh, and I just had to, I just had to think like, if it was, if it was too bad to where I would have been a negative impact, then I wouldn't have played, but I feel like it still help us win. Uh, even if I'm not doing just all the stuff I'm doing, I still feel like I can help us win. So that's why I played. And also, I don't know how much y'all have done on South Carolina yet, but is there anything that jumps out about you about their team? Like what are their strengths? What are y'all going to have to do to, to come away with a win? Um, they, they shoot the ball. They're, they have three really talented uh, backcourt players. And then Gigi, like I said earlier, he's, he's a really good young player. And uh, he's just he's really good at getting his spots, making shots. And uh, he's, a, he's a tough cover. So him paired with Michi Johnson, uh, they, they're good players. So uh, we're going to have to be locked in for them. Scotty? Yeah, A.B., you guys are at the midway point in the SEC season. I guess what are the takeaways that you have from your own game, I guess, through, through nine league games? Takeaways from my own game, I would say for the most part in league play, I'm, I've been taking care of the ball a little bit better uh, with like a couple like outliers, like a couple games, like a lot of turnovers. But uh, I think I've been – I was aggressive early in league, uh, and you know I just I just been trying to do stuff to win. To be honest, like I don't really look at like my stats and stuff like that as much as like just us winning. So 
uh, as of late, it's going better. But to start off, we lost a lot of games. So uh, I just had to try to figure out ways to just help us win even more. You know, I was looking at your numbers a little bit earlier. I think the last five SEC games, you got close to, to 30 assists. And I think close to a third of those are to Devo. Uh, what's what's the connection with Devo? Like, is it like just like a, a trust between you guys or you just kind of know where he's going to be? The thing about Devo is I trust his work a lot. Uh, it's like I tell him all the time, like, if I see you open, I'm going to hit you. And like, and sometimes it might be, eight, seven seconds on the clock, and we're not going to get a better shot than if you turn down this this three. So, like, I see him in the gym working all the time. So, basically, I just trust – I trust in him because of the work he puts in. So, uh, yeah, I mean, he's getting me a lot of my assists. He's making shots, and uh, he's playing really well for us. Bob? Anthony, we were asking, the other guys were asking about your knee, I guess contusion or bruise or whatever it is. I'm not a doctor, believe it or not. But it looks like you get hit like the quarterback does or something in an NFL game. You're always seeming to get hit, and, and a lot of times you don't get the calls. I mean, has the SEC or college basketball in general been more physical than you thought it would be? And you're, you're not the biggest guy. I'm not questioning your toughness at all, but how, how do you absorb all these hits you've been taking? Um, I mean, it's pretty physical, yeah. But a lot of the times it's just incidental. Or it's not it's not like malicious. It's just accidentally like the other day he just swung his arm back to dunk and hit me. Stuff like that. But uh yeah, I guess I'm I guess you can say I'm pretty tough. So like it doesn't really bother me that much getting a hit like that. But well, yeah, that's, that's I good. get hit like that like once or twice a game, but I don't know. I'm I'm used to it now, I guess. Okay, seems like it. And then getting back to Twins for a minute, you know, Makai was playing a lot early. Mikel wasn't playing much. And I'm thinking, man, if I was a twin and my twin was playing a lot and I wasn't, that wouldn't sit very well with me. But he, Mikel seemed like he handled it real well. And how cool, what did you think of how he handled that? And now they're both getting to play a lot, starting together, you know, last game. Just how, how do you think that's been? I think Kel did a good job of uh, being concerned with the team winning and not just him getting in the game or playing. And uh, I, I can probably imagine with a brother who was probably playing when Kyle was playing and he wasn't, like, it would be easy just to, to just give up or be mad or even, like, kind of jealous of your brother. But Kel wasn't like that. And uh, he kind of – if we won, he was happy. And if we lost, uh, he was down, like, no matter if he played or not. Like, he was just a good teammate for us. And now – uh, when it's his turn and his number's called, he's producing for us. So, yeah, he, he did a good job with uh, kind of just playing his next man up role, and now he's playing a lot. Yes, yeah, hey, one more question. I remember we talked to Gigi Jackson in, in Birmingham at Media Days. He spoke very highly of you, and um, you obviously played Keontae Green, you know, you're, I guess your friend from down in Texas. Well, what's it like playing guys either, you know, you knew through high school or AU ball or maybe through – Team USA stuff. What, what, what's it like playing those guys? Is it, is it fun? Is it a little extra competition? Uh, but what's that like? It's super fun always just playing against somebody uh, you know. <laughs> so, I mean, it's fun, yeah, but it's also a little bit of competition, like like you said. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, you don't ever know how many times you're going to get to play against, like, one of your best friends or, or one of the people you're close with. So, uh, all you can do is just try to have fun and compete and then uh, – Go back to just being cool and brothers after the game. Okay, thanks, man. Appreciate you. Thanks, AB. Appreciate yeah. your time.